I know it can be tough. It's very difficult to save money sometimes. You've got a lot of expenses. You've got a lot of things going on in your life. Today, I want to talk about some tips on the best ways I've found to save money. All right, let's get it kicked off. Stop using your credit cards. Oh man, there's a stray cat outside. It's coming up to my window. Ah, I digress. Stop using your credit cards. Credit cards are absolutely horrible. I don't care what anyone says. A lot of people will say, well, spend all your bills, put them on your credit cards, and then you rack up all these points and all these savings. The problem is if you're watching this video and you're having trouble saving, that, that method probably doesn't work for you. It probably only works for about 10% of the people where they put all their bills on their credit cards and at the end of the month they get all these extra rewards. The problem is you're likely going to spend a lot of extra money and you're paying 20, 30% in interest rates on credit cards. So one of the best ways I found to stop spending money and to save more is I just stopped using my credit cards and in many cases I stopped using my debit card. I just carry cash around. It helps me budget a lot more easier because once a cat, when, when you can physically feel cash and you're holding it, you can see it disappear. But when you're sliding that card, you're sliding that card, especially when it's a credit card, when you slide that credit card, you don't even have to pay for it for a month. So it's out of sight, out of mind. You forget about it. But then the, the end of the month comes, you have a bill, you have a thousand bucks and you have nothing to show for it. You, you, you don't even remember what you bought with it. So one of the best ways to start saving more and to stop spending is just get rid of your credit cards. You don't need them. Another great way to start saving more and stop spending less, I learned from one of my mentors, Bob. Bob told me this, and I'll never forget this. He told me this when I was in college, and it just stuck with me, and I, I mentally made a note for this throughout my whole life, and I, I actively use this all the time. It's a 30-day wait rule. You've probably heard of this before. Maybe you haven't been doing it, but start doing it. It's absolutely amazing. So the 30 day wait rule goes as follows. You make a list of things you want. Number one being the, the most important thing you absolutely want to buy right away and the 10th thing you could do without. And you wait 30 days. Instead of, instead of going and buying that number one item that you saved up your money for, you have money set aside for, wait 30 days to see if you actually even still want that item. You would be surprised. After 30 days, your number one item is no longer number one. It'll go down to like two or three and you'll have a new number one item or something that you really want to buy and then you wait 30 days and you'll have a new item. So the whole point is you're not impulse buying. Wait 30 days, especially for these significant purchases over two, 300 bucks. So when you wait 30 days, it's so much better. You're not doing any impulse buying and that has been absolutely amazing for me. Uh, even when I'm buying, you know, when I want to buy new camera gear or something, I'll prioritize it. Do I really need this? And I'll, I'll just, I'll ponder it for 30 days. I'll wait a month. Okay, you don't have to do 30 days, do two weeks. The whole point is, is that you're consciously making an, an effort to not impulse buy and to see is this still something that you're going to want to want, you know, a month from now or two weeks from now. So you don't have to make a list. You could, you could make a list on your cell phone. You could just make a mental note, have your top three things that you want and see if, if in two weeks or a month you even still want number one. If you do and you have the money and you set it aside, then go buy it because it's likely you're still going to want it six months from now and you're still going to enjoy using it. Another great way to save more and spend less is to put together a budget. So there's a lot of different types of budgets you can put together. So in short, let's say shopping list. When you go shopping, put down a list of things that you need to buy, think about it in advance, and then stick to that list, and that's it. You'll be surprised when you go shopping, all the sh you end up seeing, 
you just impulse buy or you know every time i every time i'm in line at uh, at publix i always get a snickers bar i always get a snickers bar and i'm looking around at all the little dulces all the little candies and stuff that i want to get so you end up spending so much more than you would have you, you go to the, we've all done it we all go to the store we go to get some apples and bananas you know maybe uh, maybe a smoothie maybe a protein shake or something and we end up filling up the basket with chips and sodas and a bunch of oh. so two reasons really you're going to eat healthier when you budget in advance to make a shopping list because you put on the list you think about it consciously again you're you're planning ahead you're thinking about it as opposed to just making impulse impulse so we're seeing a pattern here let's try not to do things out of impulse let's be very intentional with our time with our money and with our thoughts so go ahead put a shopping list together and stick to that shopping list stick to that budget and that will help you save money and that will help you spend less drink more water start drinking more water and you will save money and you will spend less quick story so I am a huge fan of Chipotle I can go have a full meal have a burrito bowl have a burrito you're spending seven eight bucks do that every single day but I realized I was getting a drink I was I was paying for a soda every single day it was an extra two dollars and sixty cents so if you do the math I'm spending an extra 25 or 30 percent just to get a drink and I'm spending that every single day so let's say it's 250 in five days so in two days that's five bucks ten bucks twelve fifty a week and that that just adds up really quick so what I stopped doing is I stopped buying the soda and I just get that cup of water now <laughs> no I don't go and then fill it up with soda when no one's looking as if they care anyways the whole point is though again you're 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 consciously planning something out and you're being intentional with your money and even with your health again so I think it's really good to drink more water not only you have all these health benefits you're staying hydrated throughout the day you're thinking better you're thinking more clear and that's gonna help you make more money that's gonna help you spend less that's gonna help you save more stop getting that two dollar and fifty cent soft drink and just get the cup of water trust me after a day or two you're not even gonna miss drinking that soft drink Another great way to start saving more money and spending less is to pay off any credit cards or any BS debt that you have now. You know the minimum payment that you're making every day. It shows you on your statement how long it's going to take you to pay off that credit card, i.e. two, three hundred dollar balance could take five or six times the amount if you're just taking the minimum payment every month. So just pay off your credit cards. Stop paying those high interest rates, those BS minimum payments pay them off, be done with them, and you're going to have all this extra cash so you can start saving. So that's a great way. So we already talked about stop using your credit cards. But in addition to that, pay them off. Get rid of that BS debt that you do not need. And if you can pay off your car, I just paid off my car last year. I was paying $400 a month. It's an absolute shit bucket. I call it the rental. Okay, it's a 2010 Honda Accord, but it's paid off. I was paying $400 a month. Now I get that $400 and that's in my pocket each and every month to invest or go buy what I want with it. So get rid of any BS debt. Pay off your credit cards, pay off your car, do it as fast as you can and you'll have a lot more money to save and you'll have a lot more money to save. You'll have a lot more money to save and you won't be spending as much. The last thing I want to mention is actually going to be the first thing that you're going to implement is pay yourself first. That is the most important thing. The second you get that money direct deposited, if you're, if you're in the service industry, you have all this cash when you get home, you're going to pay yourself first. Now, I know everyone likes to go out when they get paid. That's fine. That's great. Don't stop doing that, but pay yourself first. So again, consciously think of a number, something that you want to set aside. Start with 50 bucks. Every paycheck you get, Every time you get paid, if you're getting paid once a week, start with 50 bucks. If you're in the service industry, maybe 50 bucks a day because you're getting paid every day. It's not going to work out. But think of a number that you want to do each week and set that aside before you spend anything, before you pay the bills, before you go out, anything. The, re the reason that you're going to do this is because inevitably 
it always happens. By the time we start paying our bills, we go out, we use all disposable income, there's never any money left to save. We're always, it's like we, we wanna go save and then at the end of the week or the beginning of the week, whenever you get paid, all your money's gone. There's nothing left. So I, I guarantee you, if you pay yourself first, you're still gonna have plenty of money to pay all your bills as well as still go out and have a good time. So pay yourself first, set the amount of money that you wanna put aside and put it away. As always, don't forget to drink Red Bull. Red Bull is amazing. Put it with ice, put it in a glass, get a little sippy straw and start working and you're gonna make more money. It's gonna increase your income because everybody knows drinking Red Bull increases your income. It's a fact. I saw it on PBS. Thanks for watching The Money Bistro where I talk about personal finances and wealth building. Hit that subscribe button and click on the next video now.